character was probably the biggest departure from the books as right. far as adapting it. Yes. So tell us about that. Andrew wanted to make Deja as strong and as um, accessible as possible. And as far away from the sort of sex object as she is in the books so that there's somewhere for her to go. So believe you me, and two, and if that is made, and three, if that is made, I gotta keep working out. Because it does, it's, there's a journey to her unveiling of her sexuality. I think that the first part is that she's fallen in love for the first time. That's the first time that she's even, she has other things on her mind, big things. So then here's John Carter, and that is what ignites the sexuality, which you'll see later. What kind of uh, weapons training did you have for the movie? Well, I'm a black belt in an Okinawan-style karate called Shitoru, and I, my father dealt mostly with um, samurai swords. I would spend my summers in Japan, and he would be getting these swords made and be getting his fourth, fifth, and sixth dawn. So I would sort of like play with the stars and like a little bit of nunchucks and then once I started kata with a sword, I was like, well, wow, this is, you know, they say the samurai, your, your soul is in the sword. And of course I was playing with someone else's sword, so someone else's soul. Mm -hmm. But still, that, the, the, what is it, the marriage of the body and the, and the metal to me was incredibly invigorating. So when they handed me this sword that I named Kitten, because I didn't want anybody to be afraid of it, because I gave it some. Like when I was fighting, I was fighting. Um, it was an incredible experience. I, you know, if we do a number two and number three, I told Andrew, I was like, give me two. I want two. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's probably going to happen. <laughs> I mean, is that starting to get cliched at all? That all the women now have to be strong warriors in, in a lot of the current action movies or current movies? I mean, would it be a bad thing if that was what's happening? I mean, I well, think... Well, if they're all black belts, no. If they're all the black thing. belts. <laughs> um, I think there's, you know, we had the feminine feminist movement and now there's just naturally a cycle of another movement that's happening and it's at the beginning stages and characters these strong female characters these sort of archetypal images are going to accelerate it I think this mm -hmm. is my thought of it so I think we will see strong women I mean a lot of the projects that are swirling around me, most of them are, and I don't know if that's my agent's choice or like my attraction, but I think there's a, it's gonna be more. And hopefully, that's attractive to men, mm -hmm. to want. If it's done well. If it's done well, if that's it's not the, 2D, like yeah. you just said. found out Lynn's a sword master. Did she cut you up at all? Is that what she's telling she's like you? like a Jap <laughs> Japanese uh, martial wow. artist. That's news to me. <laughs> um, no, she was awesome. She really was. Um, and I just loved how the two characters fight so differently as well. You know, Joan's so raw, and she was a sword master, apparently. 